Welcome to the guide for how to edit videos on Mac with Wondershare UniConverter version 12. To trim a video, select Video Editor, click Trim, select a video, click Load, and follow these steps. Step 1. Place the skimmer on the frame you want to start the video from. Click Cut. Step 2. Repeat the process for the ending part of the video clip. Step 3. Select the unwanted segment of the video. Click Delete. Step 4. Check this Merge All Segments box. This is useful when your video has multiple segments and you want to merge all of them into one file while exporting. Step 5. Click OK. Step 6. Back on the main window, open the Output Format menu. Go to Video, select a video format, and a resolution. Step 7. Select an Output folder. Step 8. Click Start All. Step 9. Go to Finished, click Open to access the trimmed file. You can also crop your video. To do so, follow these steps. Step 1. Click Crop from the video editor. Step 2. Use the rotation options to rotate the video. Step 3. Use the cropping handles to crop the video, or manually set the frame's size to crop more precisely. Center align the cropping frame if need be. Step 4. Optionally, choose an appropriate aspect ratio. Now, apply an effect using the same box. To do so, step 1. Go to the Effect tab. Step 2. Use these correction sliders to adjust the color of the video footage. Step 3. Choose a filter of your choice. Step 4. Click Apply All in case of multiple files that need same effects. To add a watermark to your video, Step 1. To use an image, select Image Type. Click this Browse button and select an image from your Mac to add it as watermark. In our case, we will use text, so select Text Type. Enter your text in the text field. Click the Format button to change the text font, size, and other settings. Step 2. Drag to reposition the watermark in the Output Preview window. If you want to add subtitles to your video, go to Subtitle and follow these steps. Step 1. Click this Add button to upload a subtitles file from your Mac. Step 2. Use the available options and sliders to decorate the subtitles. To manage the audio for the footage, go to Audio. Drag the volume slider to adjust the volume. Click Apply to All in case of multiple files. Finally, click Save to save all the changes you have made to the footage so far. Back on the main window, Choose the nature of the added subtitles from the Subtitle drop-down list. Select the audio tracks from its corresponding drop-down list to include them in your video. Click Play on the video thumbnail. Click the CC and Audio icons to try the available options to preview the footage with different subtitles and audio settings. Select an output format and destination folder as explained earlier. Click Start All to export the video. Go to Finished. Click Open to access the exported video.